So we're back. <laughs> Another video on the channel. It's been a minute since I've posted on this channel. Uh, not even that long, honestly. It's been like a week. I say it's been a minute, but it's literally been like a week. There come stretches where I like record a bunch of videos for the channel and then I just slowly edit them. So videos will come out and sometimes I'll be wearing, I don't know if you've even noticed, but uh, sometimes I'm wearing like the same shirt or sometimes I'm wearing like, you know, it's because I record a bunch on the same day. But I think all these are going to come out on the same day, these next couple. Because this is the first time I've really been able to do this. So, uh, one thing I wanted to do on this channel was to react to, like, trailers for shows, for movies that I really enjoy. Because I think it would just it's just fun and it's cool content for the channel. Um, so, I have three trailers to react to. They're going to be three separate videos because, you know... I gotta clickbait the titles, you know what I'm saying? I gotta see if people will kind of filter in, right? So I gotta have three different titles and <laughs> hopefully we'll see what happens. I don't know. So uh, today I'm reacting to the new uh, the Secret Invasion trailer from uh, Marvel. I'm very excited for this one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check this out, see what we think, and I'll maybe discuss some things after. I will say if people are coming in, new people, I am... Uh, I really like the movies. I really like all that kind of stuff. I like listening to like breakdowns and stuff, but myself personally, I'm not a huge like comics reader and I don't know a bunch of like the background and stuff. So if there's little like small details, you're like, oh, that's from the comics, all this, I might not notice because I didn't read the comics or I don't read the comics. I just kind of watch the movies and then I watch people's like trailer breakdowns and stuff like that. So I'll probably eventually watch a trailer breakdown for this too, but, um, also, I was going to do the Black Panther trailer on this channel here, but uh, I watched. I, I wanted to watch it like I was on set of something on, on a friend's uh, project when I was when that came out, and I just watched it right away because I was like, I have to watch this. And I, one of my other buddies was there too, and he wanted to watch it, so we just watched it together. Anyway, uh, let's get right into this. Clean. You've been avoiding Earth. But I have called for your help plenty of other times, and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Yeah, well. So he's not rocking the eye patch anymore. Okay, not rocking the eye patch. He just says, "My boy, looking old as hell." <laughs> like I don't know if Samuel Samuel L. be already looking this old, but my boy's looking old as hell. This is different. Why did that seem dubbed so weird? How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about him? Okay. Fury? We gotta be very careful now. shape for this fight that lies before us. This is just the beginning. This is my war alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. Yo, was that what's that a uh, uh, Amelia Clark? Is this Amelia Clark or am I tripping? That looked like a is that her? Is that her for real? What is that? Oh, he's back. Oh. It just says 2023. Okay, yeah, that shit look fire. I can't even lie. That shit looks fire. Dude, the one thing I will say, though, is I feel like with the emergence of Disney+, Plus, I will say... I love the amount of content that we've been getting from Marvel, but yet I can. Some people seem to be getting mad that like they feel like 
Marvel isn't really taking their time on this content. They're kind of trying to push all of it out as soon as possible. But like, dude, I, I the thing about Marvel is like, I love it so much, and I've you know I love all the movies. I'm I'm there like opening weekend for all the movies. I'm you know I'm that guy. I'm there all the time. But there comes a time, where yeah, it does kind of feel like, are they doing too much? Where they got like eight shows going on, you know, they got three, you know. And I understand where people are saying like Marvel has gotten so, they're not connecting yet. And I think that eventually they're going to start getting to this point. Because it's the end of phase four is soon, right? Marvel's phase four. I think the beginning of phase five is where all the pieces start to connect. Um, apparently at D23 they showed stuff from the Marvels. Uh, they showed more Ant-Man stuff. Uh, what else did they show? I don't even remember what else they showed. I think the other one they showed Guardian stuff. Uh, at Comic-Con, I think. Which, I don't understand why, like... Why did they, What's the point of, like, releasing... Um, like, showing people parts of them... Or te- a little teaser thing, but not releasing it to the public. Like, I don't understand that part. Like, yeah, there's going to be people uh, that, that try to break down videos and try to break down every little frame by frame and make their... But that's the fun in the... That's what I think is the fun of these movies. Is, like, to pick apart little details that... That's why I like watching... I think the channel is New Rockstars. I don't know if you guys have ever watched that uh, channel before. But he, like, breaks down trailers, like, frame by frame and, like, peeks into, like, little tiny details that might mean absolutely nothing. That, like... But then also could mean something, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, they're not min- minute details that people just throw in there. I don't know, I'm just very excited for all the content that's coming up. I really like She-Hulk so far, I've been watching it. Uh, I like it, you know, I know there's a lot of people that don't really like it that much. Uh, I think it's a fun show, it's, it's a different vibe than the rest of the shows, it's a more... It's, I know that, like, there's always these, like, com- this comedy and these, like, jokes and stuff, and, and it's... They're supposed to be like fun, lighthearted superhero movies. Like Thor: Love and Thunder was kind of like that. Like it was kind of goofy esque to to make it like a fun movie. And She Hulk's kind of like that too, where it's like goofy little things. You know, fourth wall breaks, all those kind of like goofy tropes that they're adding. But then I feel like we're gonna get to serious movies. Like in November, we're supposed to get Black Panther, which is supposed to be a serious movie. It's supposed to be, you know, Black Panther obviously has died. You know, R.I.P. to Chadwick. But I, they're going to have, the, like, his character die, too. So, you know, and then it's like this whole... It's going to be like a deep, powerful movie, I feel like. So, uh, it's not all going to be, oh, it's just all goofy. All the movies are goofy. Yeah, they throw in little jokes and higher in there. But they're also supposed to try to appeal to kids as well. Whereas DC, you know, I get that there's always this running joke, right? That Marvel makes their movies like, oh, it's so jokey. It's so, haha, <laughs> it's so... They're always so PG about things. That's because that's Disney's brand. That's Disney's brand and that's Marvel's brand. It's always been more PG. Like, they've just, like, a few months ago added, like, Deadpool and Logan and Rated R stuff to Disney+. Plus. It used to be nothing Rated R was even on Disney+. Plus. There was nothing Rated R. Like, PG-13 was the highest it went. So, like, TVMA, Rated R, it's, like, for now that there's that stuff on there, they might go... I'm not saying they're going to go darker with their stuff, but... I think Marvel's idea is to make fun, you know, obviously kind of lighthearted movies because they want the whole family to be able to enjoy. Not like a super dark, like a like a Batman where it's so dark and so twisted and all this whatever. I'm, it's not a family-friendly movie, you know. The new Batman, I would say, you know, did kids probably go see it? Yeah, but it's a darker-esque movie where, you know, you're not making jokes throughout the movie. It's It's more serious tone and... That's what made it fun for me. But that's where I feel like that's DC's side that can do that. Marvel is a different type of way, you know? So, I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway, if you guys did like, please leave a like, please subscribe. Uh, make sure to check out that trailer. Original video in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think about the, the way Marvel's going. Are you guys excited for uh, the new uh, Black Panther? Because I know I am. Are you? Uh, have you guys been watching She-Hulk? Do you like it? Is there, a, is there a reason that you don't specifically don't like it other than that? You know, maybe it's your misogyny kicking. You know, it's like, don't be that guy, right? 
don't say because it's oh they're they're making a fool out of the character it's like she's a sexual character i've looked at some of the comics from her and it's literally like she just tries to like fuck every other character so she's supposed to be like goofy and rambunctious and wild like that's the character so um i don't know man whatever <laughs> anyway if you uh please like please subscribe and until next time it's your boy king boys production squaw